Solus Griffiths says, uh, I came back to the church last year and had my first confession 30 years. Glory to Jesus Christ. Wow. I feel like I can't move on, though, because I keep remembering sins that I forgot ah, to confess from my past. Oh, glory to Jesus Christ. He says, how can I be forgiven of everything? Yeah, beautiful question. Um, I mean, what, what I do every time I go to confession, if ever I can, if I ever kind of remember something from the past that I don't think I've ever confessed before, I, I just mention it when I go to confession. And I, I think that's all the Lord expects of us. I mean, the, like if there's something from the past that's weighing on you, just, just confess it the next time you go to confession, you know, and the Lord is reasonable. Like he doesn't, like if, if you prepare honestly for confession and confess the sins that you, you, you know, you've, you've committed that you can remember the lord forgives you all the sins of your whole life including the ones you've forgotten he, he, he forgives everything he makes you totally new um and like i said if there is something i was like oh wait a minute i, I just remembered like for me sometimes it's, it's more attitudes i had or just things maybe i didn't do or or and it's just like ah like i i now realize at that time in my life i was so whatever you know like selfish and didn't care for this person and it's it's more kind of an insight and if it's kind of grieving me and weighing on me the next time i go to confession i'll just mention it so that i i know that i've spoken it in confession and gotten that off my chest so don't can i like if you go ahead well i just want to quote aquinas here because aquinas would tell you you've already been forgiven and need not confess these sins again so he and i'll read from him directly so you know i'm not making this up and I know you know this, Father Mark. If, if I go to you for confession and I willingly withhold a serious sin that I've committed, this is a sacrilege and my confession is invalid and none of the sins that I confessed have been forgiven. But right. if I go to Father Mark for confession and I confess to the best of my memory and ability all of the serious sins I've committed, if I walk out of that confession after absolution and remember a sin that I forgot genuinely to confess, that's been forgiven. I want, to, yeah. I want to share here something that Aquinas says in the Summa. He says this, Some say that when a man remembers a sin which he had previously forgotten, he ought to confess again the sins which he had confessed before, especially if he cannot go to the same priest to whom his previous confession was made, in order that the total quantity of his sins may be made known to one priest. But this does not seem necessary, because sin takes its quantity both from itself and from the conjunction of another. And as to the sins which he confessed, he has already manifested their quantity, which they have of themselves. While as to the sin which he had forgotten, in order that the priest may know the quantity which it has under both, <laughs> this is getting deep, sorry, both of the above heads, it is enough that the penitent declare it explicitly and confess the others in general, saying that he had confessed many sins in his previous confession, but had forgotten this particular one. Okay, that clearly is not the exact thing that I was looking for. So let me see if I can find it again, because I think this is really, really important to people because they can get so hung up that if I don't remember every serious sin I've ever committed, then somehow I'm still in mortal sin and won't be saved. This is not the teaching of the church. Yeah, you. All you need to do is confess as best you can the sins you remember, and 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 kind of confessing something you've forgotten. It, it's just as much kind of for your own personal. Like I said, if something is weighing on you, just mention it in confession, and you'll be free of that kind of sense of whatever guilt and shame. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. Lord's mercy, like it's so important. If you if you genuinely want to receive God's mercy and you're sorry for your sins, like don't be afraid. Like you're good. The Lord is so pleased with you, you know. And and then just you know do things as best you can. As and you know to, a guilt driven spirituality is never good. And you don't advance as quickly in the spiritual life when it's guilt that's driving you. You know there should be a sense that you know God loves me so much that. I don't need to be afraid. I, I, I mean, I need to be, you know, repentant of my sins, but uh, yeah. 
Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.